Hi, this is Jay Goodman from Absolute Zero Internet Studios, and today's video is going to be showing you how to add an existing POP3 email to Gmail. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and open up the browser that I like and put the right password in. Get myself signed in here. So I'm signed in. Now I'm going to go up to this in the upper right hand corner right here where it says settings. And I'm going to go click that and then go to accounts and import. And then right about down the middle of the page, I am going to click on Add POP3 Email Account. So there are a couple components that you need in order to be able to add an email address uh, to Gmail. One is you need an email address. Two, you need an account name, which typically is the email address. A password, uh, the incoming and outgoing servers, which I will explain in a little bit and then finally access to the account that you're adding so that you may uh, be able to verify and again I'll explain that as we move along. So I'm going to get started and in this case I'm going to add an email address of jobs at HeislerTool.com. Go ahead and click on next step. This is where that username comes into place. So again as I said Let's add in the username, put in your secret, really good secure password. Pop server, this is perfect. Don't change a thing. Leave a copy of retrieved message off on the server. I highly recommend you leave that blank because if you check that, it will leave copies of every email on the server and you'll eventually top out You will, uh, and you'll overflow your email box in which the email box will turn off and you will no longer receive email. So I would leave that unchecked. Uh, you can also uncheck the second one. We don't use uh, secure connection. If you want to label the messages, uh, it will show a message coming from this particular email address in your inbox. I can show that to you here in a second. And then archiving incoming messages, I've not really messed around with that. So I'm going to go ahead and click Add Account. And then it says, all right, you're good to go. The account has been added. You can now check the mail from here. And then it asks you, do you want to be able to send mail as that user? Because otherwise, it's just going to send it as your default send mail, whatever your setting is in Google. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and say, yeah, I want to send this as jobs at Heiser Tool. Here I can specify a different reply to address. I'm just going to leave it here as this jobs at Heiser Tool and click on Next Step. Now, in order to be able to do this, you've got two options. One is that you can use Gmail, but if you've got somebody who's savvy, uh, they can look in the headers and they will, while it'll say that it came from you, if they look in the headers of the email, uh, it'll say that it's coming from Gmail. If you want to send it from your own domain, then you would click the second option here in which you have to verify or validate to the server, so that's why you have to have access to it. So I'm going to go ahead and enter in my username. Oh, and by the way, your SMTP server, or another word for it, is outgoing mail server. If uh, and you should be using an absolute zero, uh, absolute zero hosting. It is going to be on port 25. Make sure you change that to port 25 and use this mail dot tool or mail dot insert your domain here dot uh, enter in the username, which is going to be the email address, and then go ahead and pop that super secure password in one more time. You don't have to worry about this secure connection here, and we'll click on Add Account. Okay, so this takes a bit, but eventually, uh, and actually you can see right here that each time it goes out and checks for that mail and it does say that there was some some mail fetch so I'm gonna go over to my inbox and sure enough I see my confirmation tool here which is the latest one and I'm gonna double click that code I'm gonna go back into my settings 
and back into accounts and import. But now I'm going to go up here where I'm saying send mail as. I'm going to go ahead and click on that verify and you'll see that same screen we had before. Now I'm going to just right click and I'll paste that number in, click on verify and then they'll say yep everything is cool uh, you can go ahead and send this mail through. Now when I want to send a, a piece of mail I can select from here and I can send it from jobs at Heisler Tool. And let's say that I want to send myself a test message. So in this case, I'm going to send it to my Gmail account. And because it's Gmail, it should pop up like super fast. So it's sending. And there it is. And if you look, it'll say from jobs at Heiser Tool. So that's it. I hope it was informative, easy, and feel free to stop and start it uh, to go at your own speed. Once again, Jay Goodman from Absolute Zero Internet Studios. Thanks a lot for watching.